Hello peeps, it's very windy so I don't know if you can hear me but I am in Teddy Hall, also known as St Edmunds College It's a very very tiny college I'll put the details down on like how many people come here but it's a very small college uh, but I'm walking around the grounds and it's free access so let's let's see what I can find <laughs> I am definitely not into Edmunds Hall. I just thought I'd give you a bit more background information. So the reason why it's called a hall is because it's a medieval hall that was set up even before the founding of the whole University of Oxford. So um, it's one of the oldest surviving medieval halls. And it became a part of Oxford in the 20th century. Interestingly, Queens, which I've done a tour of, so check up there or down there. Uh, for a link to that. Queen's, interestingly, saw the running of St Edmund's Hall until the mid-1900s and officially in 1957 St Edmund's Hall became its own hall thing, if that makes sense. The reason why it's called St Edmund's is because uh, the first Oxford Master of Arts um, actually taught there and he apparently um, drew from the well in the middle, which I just showed. So it's called St Edmund's but it also has a nickname Teddy so when I first came, I, was, I would talk to people and be like, oh, what college are you at? And they're like, yeah, I'm at Teddy's Hall. And I'm like, where? Teddy? Where? Where is that? I've never heard of that college. Um, then I realised, no, it's that's the nickname for it. Teddy, St. Edmunds, one and the same. The reason why this video is so short and the reason why this is a complete fail is because my battery is dying, so I was trying to do this as quickly as possible. And the second thing is, it's so tiny that I couldn't actually see the rest of the college. Um, so I really apologise for that. I only got a little glimpse of some of the classrooms and accommodation at the back. And also, during the time I came, they were having a meeting in the dining hall, so I couldn't even film that. And I didn't know where the chapel was. I thought I saw the chapel, and then on closing inspection, I realised it's the library. So it was a former church, now it's a library, which means I couldn't access that either. So I'm really sorry, <laughs> so bad, but um, I'm back in London, which means I can't film any other colleges in Oxford. So if you guys really, really, really want to see the whole of the college, let me know. I might try and go back then next year to do it a better, um, yeah, to, to make a better video, but who knows.